Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given system of equations a minus b equals to 11 and square root of a plus square root of b equals to 11 as well. In other words, we are going to find the value of a and b. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and call this very first equation as equation number one and this second as equation number two. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, equation one and here I have copied it down. Now let's go ahead and manipulate this uh, equation. Let's focus on this a. Let's go ahead and tweak uh, this a, a could be written as square root of a and then we can square it. And likewise, b could be written as b equal to square root of a b and then whole square. So therefore, our this equation is going to become a square root of a and then a whole square minus likewise square root of b and then a whole square equals to 11. Now we can see the difference of two squares on the left hand side so therefore we are going to use this uh, famous identity so therefore this could be written as square root of a minus square root of b times square root of a plus square root of b equals to 11. And now let's focus on this square root of a plus square root of b. This is equal to 11 from this equation 2. So therefore I'm going to replace this one by 11. So therefore this equation could be written as 11 times square root of a minus square root of b equals to 11. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 11 on this side and 11 on this side. So this is gone. So we got uh, square root of a minus uh, square root of b turns out to be equal to 1. So let me go ahead and call this as equation number 3. And now let's focus on these two equations. Equation 2 and this equation 3. And here I have copied down our these two equations over here and this is our system of two equations. So let's go ahead and solve this system of equations by elimination method. Let's go ahead and add these two equations. If we add them this cancels out with this one. So we ended up with the 2 times square root of a equals to let's divide both sides by 2. So that is going to give us a square root of a equal to 6. Now let's go ahead and undo this square root by taking a square on both sides. So that means this square and square root they undo each other. So our a value turns out to be 36. Now let's go ahead and plug in this a equals to 36 value in this equation 1 to find the b value. And here I have copied down our equation 1. Let's go ahead and replace this a by 36. So this equation is going to become 36 minus b equals to 11. So let's go ahead and subtract 36 from both sides. This is gone. So we got negative b equals to negative 25. So that means if we remove these uh, negative signs, our b value is going to be 25. So thus our solution turns out to be a equal to 36 and b equals to 25. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.